babies. Man, it feels good to be out here. Today we have this, which may or may not be the answer to the GoPro problems. Let's check it out. So as some of you may know, and as some of you may have experienced, the GoPro has a mind of its own. It likes to shut off and turn itself on and shut off on its own a lot. Like almost all the time. Either that or something comes unplugged or something with the battery or something with this, something with that, or there's just, seems like there's always something with the GoPros. But hopefully this DJI Action 2 Osmo Action 2 or is it just DJI Action 2? I don't even know now. There might, I don't know. It's the DJI Action 2 as far as I know. It's very, very modular helmet. A very modular helmet. It's a very modular camera. It's magnetic. So I can take this off and I can let it just stick itself back on. It does have clips on the side, but um, yeah. That's why I'm not wearing gloves because this is a really expensive camera. I did find it on sale at Nebraska Furniture Mart. Uh, it was cheaper than GoPros at the time. It is an expensive camera though because I got the front facing screen which is down there. So this is, this is what's cool about this. So I'm recording with the voice recorder as long as it's working. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can't have everything. So as long as it's working, this is why I like wearing gloves. I just got hit by a bug. As long as the voice recorder is working, this camera should solve all of the problems and should add a huge amount of versatility to what we do. Like I said, I'm recording with the voice recorder on the back of my helmet. Let me turn my Senna on. So, we can hear the Senna, so that's just like hearing Miss Stevie or anybody that I'm writing with, right? So the cool thing about this though, is that I can take this camera like this, and hope to God I don't drop it, but it is magnetic. So I can actually stick it to my handlebars, I can stick it to my tank, and it stays, which you can't see, but you're on the tank right now, you're stuck to it, and you are moving though. That's scary, but I can take you and put you on this forward-facing screen right there, just like that. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. And I'm still recording with the GoPro. I'm still recording with the DJI Action. So I'm still moto vlogging, even though the camera's not on my helmet right now. And I can take this very versatile. I can turn it around. I can put it up here on the handlebars, which I can do right now, I guess. Grab this, put it here on the handlebars, put it down here like that so you can see what's going on in front of us. But then I can still take you guys off of there. Very safe, very OSHA approved, I'm sure. And put you right back on to here camera check to make sure everything had and it worked all right so will this replace the GoPro I don't think so because the GoPro I can still record audio into the GoPro I can record audio into the DJI action DJI action 2 also I just don't have everything to do it yet and there is one great big downfall to this and that is, if I have the camera just like this, the way that it is, I can only record like 30 minutes with the internal memory. Now, the screen mod does have a, a micro SD slot. I have a 256 gig memory card in that. But I have to stop what I'm doing, download the footage from the camera, to the screen mod to get it onto the memory card and then I can format the screen mod the, the camera itself and then I can I can go about and, and motovlog again 
Um, I do have a, a another mount here that has a USB-C plug on the back of it and that's going to my battery pack on my helmet so I am just like with the GoPro I have endless battery power you know because this thing isn't going to go dead for, that thing's not going to go dead in a day um, I, I run my GoPro all day long before with it <clears throat> bugs man I run my GoPro all day long with it not had a problem now the big upside to the GoPro I can record audio right into the GoPro for stuff like this where I'm doing short videos maybe I'm doing a product video um, because the audio on the on the voice recorder is better than the audio on the GoPro especially when you, you know I really needed to hear my voice and stuff so um, stuff like this I'll use it just like this and I mean, it, it's pretty cool how I can just take you guys like from here and then just put you here. And if I had other mounts, I could put you on the handlebars, I could put you back on the back of the bike somewhere or whatever, you know. So it's very, it's a cool, it's a cool thing, you know what I mean? So the camera is expensive. Do I recommend that you buy it? don't know if I can recommend you to buy it because it is expensive if you can get it on sale like I did the, the camera's got some really cool things with it the only thing is is that if you're not moto vlogging with it like I am and you're recording like like this non-stop the camera gets hot it gets hot it overheats uh, and it just quits recording after like 30 40 minutes maybe so the nice thing about moto vlogging is that we constantly have wind hitting it to cool it off. But otherwise, it's a cool camera. The, the 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 possibilities are endless with it. Really, I can, like I said, I can stick it on anything magnetic. So if I'm doing a video out in the garage, uh, I can take the camera and just magnet it to something. But and this may be coming in the future. There's snap mounts for the GoPro. I'm gonna leave it at that because, um, yeah, that's that's coming in the future maybe. I don't want to spoil that. Uh -huh. I better get somewhere where I can get some gas, or it's not gonna be good. I was gonna keep going straight on this road, but probably better not. So everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool, and we will see you on the road.